Zinder, and uh, we are back in the underwater base. Uh, I kind of gave up on the spider spawner for now. I couldn't get it to work quite as I was intending, but uh, I did have an idea. Right, Algernon? He agrees. Uh, we are going to go visit the village that is nearby, because I had an idea for that. Is it going to put the underwater base on hold for now? Yes. However, I'm going to do more actual building videos. Now, that village should be right over here somewhere. I want to basically... I'm going to call it the... Uh, hmm, the Village Enhancement Program. VEP. Because... The NPC villages, in short, they're crap. The buildings suck and everything, and I'm going to greatly improve upon it. And, um, going to stop saying um, hopefully. I'm going to greatly improve upon this. I need to make sure, okay, there is enough villages, villages, villagers to repropagate, and, uh, yeah. Reef. Okay, there's plenty of villagers. Uh, I do need to... I'm going to need a wall, but what I want to do is I actually want to basically rebuild the entire city. And I am going to finally build a castle. And I have yet another shovel. I do... Whoa! Okay. That's not quite what I was expecting. Uh, my game sounds a little quiet. Let me check this. Oh, yes indeed it is. Okay, so my plan is to basically drop the entire village down to this level right here. And then I'm going to build an entire wall around it. And I'm going to rebuild different buildings. I'm going to label them differently. Tavern, blacksmith, and all that. But they're all going to have doors, so they function as NPC houses, and they'll occupy them and propagate themselves across the, uh, the village to fill in all the houses I make. And then I'm going to make a castle, which can be a little ridiculous. And I do have an idea for kind of like the the day-night sensor, although it's going to be a little bit unreliable, because if you look at a lot of the day-night sensors out there that people have made using villagers, uh, for one, they're just short channels, and mine's going to be kind of like that. Uh, the villager I use for it is going to be fairly contained, only have one option for a house to enter, but uh, he's going to be guardsman, a guardsman, guardsman Bob. It's a horrible I name, I know, but take that up with Bob and the people who named him. That's right, I didn't name him, it's not my fault. Actually, I did come up with the name. See, I don't... These are new. Fairly new. And it's kind of disturbing. But, that's beside the point. There's going to be a lot of digging and flattening involved here. And I didn't bring all the materials I'm going to need to build this entire place with me. Uh, actually, I don't have a whole ton of materials to begin with, so I'm probably going to have to start up some kind of a quarry nearby. Unfortunately, what that's going to cause is a lot of issues related to just being there, unless I, like, go over there. So otherwise I'm going to end up with way more sand than I could ever hope to have. And I'm going to need to make like a tree farm over here or something because I'm going to be using a lot of wood. But I need to get the base foundation for it set up first. And I think that's what I'm going to try to get done for this episode. Now, this is going to be considerably larger than the village because they're not going to have, you know, dinky like 3x3 three three houses anymore by the time I'm done. So... Yeah. They're going to have houses. Minecraft houses. Real houses. Oh. 
Hey down there, guys. How you doing? You might want to get out of that hole. I really wish the server would become nighttime. And we have to investigate what's going on with that sinkhole over... I don't even know where it was now. That's kind of bad, actually. And this pit of water is going to cause a bit of an issue. I don't know how big I'm actually going to be looking at for this entire city. It's going to be a city. And now it's a village. By the time I'm done with it, it's going to be a full-on city. But I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it just yet. In terms of, you know, all the houses and everything. I have a little bit of an idea, but... I don't have my entire idea down pat yet. I do know that I need to make sure my villagers survive. Which is part of the reason I want to get this down and I'm going to have to clear out space and whatnot. I'm going to have to get everything lit up, make sure monsters can't spawn in here, and then I'll be able to start building, which I will probably start with the walls. But some of these places don't have doors. I've got a little bit of wood on me, but... Man, there's a lot of villagers here. This is crazy. I'm going to... I should just cannibalize some of these things right now, like all this wood, to make doors and whatnot. Whoops. Now, the only thing I really need to worry about is zombies at the moment, because... They're pretty much the only thing that's going to attack my villagers just straight off. So, I'm going to need to worry about them, that's for sure. I should have cleared out my inventory and been prepared for this before I came over here, but since I'm going to have to go make trips to get things like diamonds and iron and whatnot, that's, that'll come whenever I get to that point. Worst case scenario, I will make a chest over here. So that way, you don't have anything to worry about. I'm also going to need to... I want to get grass over here somehow. I want to kind of make this like a desert oasis at the same time. Oh, speaking of grass, there's grass. I guess I'm good to go on that. So... This village is quite extensive. I'm going to go up this way too much more. Well, I guess we're going to have... Well... It's not going to really matter, because if I chop down that house and all that, I'll be able to move it farther over. I can always extend the walls at any time, and the wheat fields will get moved outside the village, because they don't actually make use of them. So, you know, I can still keep the village feel with the wheat and everything, but I don't need to put it inside the city walls, taking up space for homes. And the castle... That I'm going to make. I know castles are overdone, and mine's not going to be as amazing as some, but it's going to happen eventually. Everybody ends up needing to make a castle eventually, but it's not just going to be a castle. I mean, it's going to be actually. Ooh. See what I was talking about with cutting off that house? And I'm going to need to rip up this wheat and stuff, but I'm going to wait for it to grow first. Hey, skeleton. Stop hitting me, would you? My pick's about broken, so that's no fun. Um... I suppose that's all I really have to say at this very moment. I do want to get these walls up. They're not going to be too high. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough cobble for that. But hopefully I'll be able to at least make them one high so we can have a uh, general understanding on where the outline of this is going to be. And I'm sure most of these houses don't even actually have functioning doors. Hmm. I, think, I don't really think there's anything that makes cactuses break faster. Why do I have mushrooms? Whatever. I'll worry about that later. I'm sure I had them for a reason. Now, 
by the time you see this video, it'll probably have been a good while since I recorded it. However, I am going to try to uh, get things in order. So that way... I, I really don't know how to explain it. I do know that there's a creeper up there. That's not what I was going for. Uh, I do know that there's going to be a lot of actual work involved in this whole thing. Hey! Hey! Uh, on another note, slightly unrelated note, maybe, probably, kinda, not really. Um, I'm planning on probably setting up a real server, you know, out outsourced hosting, not just off of my computer and all that. So that way I can allow more people on, which as it currently stands, nobody, none of the people that I know that play on here are really active at the moment. I think over the past two or three weeks, I don't even think I've had anybody log on for more than maybe 10 minutes or so, if that. So, the activity is low, and I consider just completely shutting it down, but I might instead whoa, move it to a, like an actual outsourced server. Well, that takes care of that. Oh, I need to go down there and explore that. That will wait. Uh, that looks good, kind of. I guess I won't have the cobble laid down for this yet, because I want to get it all on the same level. I'm going to have to murder all the buildings in the village, which means I'm going to have to trap the villagers in there, obviously. I'm going to need to light up the walls, light up on top of the walls, light up inside the walls. There's going to be a lot of work involved in this, in short. So... But, it being a big project, that was part of the whole point behind it, so, I'm trying to figure out where this is going to go to, place these for now, oh, these mobs are getting on my nerves, getting on my nerves. I'm going to have plenty of holes and stuff I'm going to need to fill in. No! Whew. Okay. I'm gonna, there's going to be plenty of holes and stuff I'm going to need to fill in with this. I'd rather have the sand than the zombie meat, obviously. I can almost guarantee you I'm going to need to drop something else. Yeah. Uh... Seeds. Don't need seeds. I've got the wheat farm. I got the little underwater base. There's an Enderman. I don't feel like messing with him at the moment. The zombies, I'm guessing, are underground, but I want to get this whole ordeal with this settled out first. Right? Okay. Hey, there's Spider. I have noticed that it seems like mobs have been getting better and better and better and better on uh, SMP with the patches. So, that's always good. And it probably partly has to do with the fact that what they're trying to work towards with the, the servers and the client and whatnot, the client's going to become a lot dumber, uh, single player is going to function single player is going to start functioning like a server, essentially. You'll even be able to allow friends to come into your single player games and stuff. That's how much of a server it's going to be. Th that's how single player is going to run as a server, essentially. So the client's going to be retarded, and that'll help them fix multiplayer and not seem like they're building two separate games at once. Which, if you read the news posts on the forums, you already know this. 
but in case you don't, now you know. So in other words, the short version of the story is that servers are going to be starting to function better with every patch. That's pretty much the entire plan, and I like it. I like that plan. Actually, anybody that plays Minecraft. Although, the whole, you know, single player running as a server does have potential security risks, I'm going to call it. Keep in mind, I'm sure it probably won't allow anyone in unless you expressly allow it. I'm trying to get this lit up. <sighs> this is going to turn into a whole caving adventure. So we are going to chill on this. Although, oh, the good news is, is hopefully that this eventually results in me finding a zombie spawner. So I can make a real mob trap. Because I could really use Silk Touch. Despite the fact that they are destroying the way in which uh, ice will work in the nether. Ooh, where am I? Now, there's always a chance that they might revert the idea, plan, thingy that they're planning on doing. Which is basically ice blocks in the nether whenever they turn into water. Currently... If you were lucky enough to get a hold of ice blocks, as some people were for the short duration it existed, you can place them in the nether and you can either break them or melt them and they'll turn into water. However, they're changing that. Whether or not that'll affect existing water in the nether, or if that's just with... If it's, you know, kind of like how buckets work, you know, the process of placing it causes it to disappear that's yet to be seen and this cave is going to get on my nerves for this flint get more sand I can always use sand I can't always use flint now I thought about making a hardcore series based off of the whole concept of my water base Oh, but when I had thought about it, I had actually ended up just deciding it was easier to scrap it. It was a little bit too restrictive. It probably wouldn't be all that fun to play, and it would end up with a lot of ridiculous building and not a whole lot of actual interesting hardcore stuff. So... If I was going to do hardcore, I think I would just do normal hardcore instead of what I had planned. Now, speaking of hardcore, hopefully by now you guys have watched the Lethemir playthrough. And if you haven't, well, I guess it's been up for long enough that you should have watched it. So, if you haven't watched it and you don't want any spoilers, stop w watching this video right now and watch that. If you have watched, go ahead and keep watching. Um, basically, the way it was originally designed is Vex kind of wanted you to play it like a standard Let's Play map. Now, I obviously didn't do that, and I'm not going to go back and try and replay it because, well, pretty much because of that fact, it was just kind of like, eh. So, whoa! Well, hi there, Iron. How are you doing? So this is going to be a bit dangerous. But anyhow, uh, if I do start up a hardcore series, which it's unlikely that I'll start yet another Let's Play, like standard Minecraft Let's Play kind of thing. Why isn't the shovel... shovel? Pickaxe broken yet? Actually, I think it's unbreaking. Uh, yeah. Which, I made another one, which it only ended up being efficiency. And then I have this one, which is also efficiency. And that's efficiency. So, my luck with enchants, well, I guess when you're only doing, like, level 5 enchants, expecting you can get anything more than efficiency is actually, uh, what the? 
Okay. There we go. What? I swear to God. What is going on? Someone explain to me. Nope. Are you gone this time? No. What is going on with this stupid pickaxe? You done now? Okay. That was really weird. Kind of like that lack of sound there for a second. I have no idea where I am in this village anymore. I think I'm going to start from over here. And I'm going to dig this way until I reach that. But I'm going to call this episode good for now since you guys have a pretty good understanding of what I'm doing now. I'm... I'll be back whenever I'm ready to actually do building or destruction or whatever inside the village. Uh, ripping it down is going to be a pretty tedious process. Oh. Hey now. There you go. A way out. Shoo. Do not need gravel. I'm going to end up with quite a, quite, a, quite a bit of it from this whole endeavor, so... Pick up that cobble. Might as well, right? I'm going to end up going through quite a bit of diamonds and everything, and I'll probably have to work away in my branch mine. But, hopefully that won't be... Well, you won't have to see that, obviously. I wish I had more things I could get rid of. Mmm, five arrows. I know I don't have a whole lot of arrows, but I don't really need arrows that much. I don't know, I could, you know, come up with... If I found a skeleton spawner, I'd probably use the hell out of a bow and probably enchant one really high and everything, but... I do not have a skeleton spawner, and therefore I'm not too concerned about the bow. You know, it would have been a lot better if I had found a village on, like, a more flatter terrain. Deserts t tend to be a little bit ridiculous when it comes to hills and stuff. Villages always end up on completely weird levels like this, but what are you going to do, right? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to continue ripping away at this. I said I was going to stop. I kept talking. So I'm actually going to stop now, so I will see you guys next time.